Greetings YouTube and welcome to the video. I encourage you to check out the other videos on this channel. There may be things you are interested in. Today I'll tell you a little bit about myself and use this as the introduction video for the entire channel. I live in New England, which is in the northeastern section of the United States. New England includes Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and last but not least, and where I call home, Vermont. In Europe, the climate that is most similar to Vermont is the oceanic climate found in the United Kingdom and Ireland, with one major exception. Vermont will have more snow with a yearly average of 65 inches, or 165 centimeters. Our riding season starts in April or May and continues through September or October, depending on local weather patterns ranging between five and seven months. The busiest part of riding season will be from June through September, with average high temperatures of 73 Fahrenheit, or 23 Celsius in June, 77 Fahrenheit, or 25 Celsius in July, 76 Fahrenheit and 24 Celsius in August, and 68 Fahrenheit or 20 Celsius in September. As of June 2023, I am 53 years old, 5 foot 8 or 173 centimeters, and a bit of a fat guy at 215 pounds or 97 kilograms. I have been riding motorbikes since 1986, my first motorbike being a 1979 Vespa P200E. I have owned the following other motorbikes, a 1972 BMW R75-5, a 1984 BMW R100 RTP, 1985 Kawasaki 454 LTD, 1998 BMW K1200 RS, and my wife and I currently own a 2003 BMW R1200 CLC, a 2011 BMW G650 GS, a 2016 Suzuki Boulevard S40, a 2020 Kawasaki W800, and a 2022 Can-Am Riker Rally Edition. I am super fortunate to have a unicorn of a beautiful wife, being that not only does she love motorbikes, but she pilots her own and says amazing things like, I don't know where this motorcycle came from, but it looks great with our other motorbikes. I was in a serious motorcycle wreck in September 1989, where I and my 1972 BMW R75-5 were completely wrecked. I spent significant time in hospital, both for initial treatment and rehabilitation following the wreck. I was hit by a motorist from the rear. It took me eight years to get back to owning motorcycles, but I did ride them in between. In summer 1997, I purchased a 1984 R100 RTP, which I ended up putting 270,000 miles. I am a safety-oriented rider and recommend everyone attend at least one safety course. In the US, that'll be MSF or Abate. I follow speed limits, for the most part, I have been known to follow traffic, which sometimes exceeds the posted limit. I slow down prior to turns and accelerate back to speed exiting them. I believe in going slow enough to be able to stop in the distance I can see, in case something is in the road rather than zipping along with no out if something is blocking the way. I encourage track days for sport bike riders to practice personal land speed records and stunting and do not believe public roads are the place to engage in those activities. I do not subscribe to the myth that loud pipes save lives, and do believe that every rider has the responsibility to be a good moto citizen and represent motorcycling in a positive light to the public at large. I mostly talk about our 2020 Kawasaki W800, but I also talk about general motorcycling topics, motorbike safety, make fun of myself time to time, and sometimes I even talk about our other motorbikes. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a terrific day. Keep the shiny side up.